So um, my name is Rob Webster, I'm kind of head coach for the under 13s girls. Um, I've been involved with Hetton Juniors for about 20 years now, um, on and off. I uh, started off doing boys football many years ago um, and I've been involved with the girls football just over a year ago. Yeah, so um, we're the under-13s girls, uh, we've got 17 in the squad, uh, we've got a few come along and train with us who aren't the sign on but they won't be playing as part of the season, uh, they've got other activities that prioritise. Um, so we've got um, 14, no, we've got actually 15 who, who, who will be playing in the team. Um, the under-13s, they've been going for about, about a year, uh, I think it's exactly a year since I took over the team. Um, how I got into it was uh, my daughter wanted to get into football, which was a bit of a surprise. Um, obviously, being you know loving football myself, uh, it was kind of a, uh, an easy uh, job to take on. Uh, so we we've been doing it for a year, um, and it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've got plans for for the future of the girls. So we'll, eventually, we want a ladies team. So there's a lot of kind of a lot of pressure on our shoulders to get the girls right because we are the oldest hitting girls team. Um, we've got a lot of younger teams, so we're the ones that are going to be we are the, the main feeder into the ladies team, which will be you know, in about five or six years' time. So there's a lot on our shoulders to get that right, uh, ready for the girls coming through as a kind of a feeder club. Yeah, well, I mean, long long term goals would be you know the, the ladies team. Uh, we've done it with the boys. We've just started the, the boys team. Um, which has been a, a you know a long time coming. It's been a long time since we've had an adults team in Hetton. And uh, the long term goal for, for me and uh, for, for the the other coaches will be uh, you know the ladies team. Um, short term goals, you know, just enjoy it and develop the players as much as we can. Um, you know, I, I can't see anything other than that. Um, obviously, you know, it'd be nice to to have a you know a winning team win the league. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, you know, it's that's not what it's all about. Um, yeah. I think the, the the history behind the club. Um, you know, this this was our twenty um, fifth anniversary year this year, so the club's been going a long time. Um, and what what's special about the club now compared to where it's been in the other years? The structure it's got. You know, we've got a you know recognised chairman, Chrissy, who's you know he's he's been in football as long as I remember. Uh, a lot of the coaches have been in the club for a long time. We've got a, you know, the, the secretary. We've got, you know, the welfare officer. It's the structures there now, um, and I think that's what separates us from other clubs as well. And the the fact that we're, a, you know, Hens a small old mining village as well. It's a, it's a community kind of spirit. It's a, it's got a community feel at the club, and it's just grown. It's gets get bigger and bigger. Um, you know, girls football has always been seen seen as the the lesser, and um, it's never it's never been serious. But I think the World Cup helped with uh, girls football. Um, but I, th I think we're in the golden era of girls football now. Uh, you know, you've got like Steph Horton from, you know, on our doorstep. Uh, she's a recognised player. Uh, the World Cup definitely helped with that. And like I say, it's, you know, girls just love football. Um, I always I always. Tell the story. Um, you know, my my girl, same age as Hannah and Grace. She's she's eleven. Um, three years ago, two years ago, they were out the front, kind of pushing push chairs around. Um, you know, doing girly things. Now they're out the front playing football with the boys. That's you know, there's been a massive shift from you know from from, from what girls do, and it's cool to play football for girls now. It is. It's genuinely you know cool. Um, and yeah, you can see it. You know, you can see the girls going. You know, they come along the. You know, the king is, you know, and we've had turned girls away as well. You know, we 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 only have so many in the training, and um, we've had turned girls away from our club, and we just haven't, we can't can't accommodate them. So it just shows how popular girls football is now. Um, yeah, I said it last week when the girls, um, you know. We've had a few friendlies now. We've, we've, we've absolutely, you know, we've battered teams. You know, we, I mean, we've seven nil a day. Uh, we've put we passed the team a few weeks ago. Six fours. We played a team last week, uh, Newcastle East End, who've got a long history behind them as well. Uh, really good side, one of the best girls sides in the, the northeast. Beat us three one, and and I said to the girls after the game, you know, 
look where we were a year ago, you know, some of these couldn't even kick a ball. Look where we've come from today, we've narrowly been beaten, and on another day we would have beaten them. That's where I want you, that's where I strive to be, you know, that's where I want the girls to be, you know, up there competing in the Premier League with the best teams. And, um, you know, if we keep, go- keep on going on that, the growth that we've, we've seen over the last year, we'll, uh, we'll get there, 100%.